NBC Tonight. It's the third rock where Sally tries to impress her boyfriend's mom, Naomi Judd. You sure squeezed out a winner, lady. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh! Then, on an all-new Boston Common, Boyd's obsessed with joy. You got a problem, baby. Don't worry about me. I don't have a problem. All-new Boston Common, NBC Tonight. Michael J. Fox is on NBC and head over heels in love. I have this recurring dream. Does yours involve Michelle Pfeiffer and a kind of cool whip? Michael J. Fox is on NBC in for Love or Money tonight. Don't miss the super star-studded premiere of Access Hollywood and get the inside scoop on the Emmys. Oh, nice timing. Tomorrow at 6.30 on NBC5. Weather with Brian Miller. Try to tan on NBC5 News. <laughs> We're just about to inaugurate NBC's new fall season. You're a little early, but how about a sneak peek at the new fall lineup, hmm? It's NBC's must-see TV primetime preview with Leah Thompson. Welcome to the NBC must-see TV Peacock Gallery. I know you're anxious to see the new acquisitions, but first you should know that we've relocated a few of the classics. Follow that show. The aliens have landed, and now Third Rock from the Sun has invaded Sunday nights. Transmission incoming from the big giant head. What again? I judge your mission to be a complete failure. Replacements arrive in 24 hours. No! I wish I had a machine that could freeze time. Unfortunately, I left it in my other jacket. <laughs> Dick, you're the only one who's going. We all get to stay. Yeah! Oh! My replacement is in the basement. He wants to talk to you, Dick. Now. You. Yo. Make me leave now. Oh, yes, I can. What about Mary? I'll take care of her. Good. How dare you? Let Daddy drive. <laughs> I'm your new high commander. From this point forward, you will refer to me as such. Okay, such. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, the hair, the tattoos. I mean, like you could be human. <laughs> we now go from a family on Third Rock to a down-to-earth couple that was, uh, <laughs> on the rocks. Paul and Jamie Buckman. Mad About You has moved to Tuesday night. We are failures as breeders. We are put in this earth to breed, and we have failed. If we don't produce an heir, it's all over. Yeah, well, if you and me are it, then I would say it deserves to be all over. <laughs> what the hell's the matter I with know, you, I know, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I, I, I really wanted to... Go with her. I, I, you know, Jamie and I, we're not doing so great right now. Just tell me that that didn't actually happen. Because that's the only explanation I would like to hear right now. Wait, just wait. What's going to happen now? What I happens don't, I don't now? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm... I don't know. To say to her. He's got nothing to say to her. He has nothing to say to you. He has nothing to say to me. I mean, what is there to say? I mean, what is there to say? I mean, what kind of person is she? What kind of person I mean, is she? Who is this woman that I thought I knew? Who is this woman who, that he thought he knew? Who has made a mockery, made a mockery of everything that I held sacred. Of everything that he holds sacred. You tell him that people who live in glass houses should not throw stones. That none of us is so perfect we may judge our neighbor. And that until he's walked a mile in my shoes, he has not walked. Boy, are you in trouble. <laughs>
Does baby make Mad About 3? Catch the season premiere of Mad About You. Want to see what else is in store for you later on Tuesdays? Ta-da! That's right, me! <laughs> this fall, Caroline in the City has joined the Tuesday night lineup right after Frasier. Notice the fine brush strokes? <laughs> when last you left me... Oh, Caroline, there's one more thing. <laughs> I know I'm probably violating several rules of etiquette by telling you this right before your wedding, but I have feelings. Carol. You got the letter? What letter? <laughs> you gotta let me know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Where's Richard? Crazy artist? Move. Uh, hit the road. Leave country. He gave me his silly posturpedic. Did he say where he was going? Did he say what he... Be back. Mad About You and Caroline in the City are now on Must See TV Tuesdays. Are you with me so far? Good. If you sometimes feel a bit weary come Wednesdays, now's the time for you to wake up! Oh, oh I'm sorry. With Wings, the John Larroquette Show, and News Radio, NBC has the answer to the midweek blues. Put on your dancing shoes. We're a partying tonight! <laughs> Matthew, what is it now? For God's sake, no one's smoking, okay? No. But, but nothing! You know what we need around here is an anti-whining ordinance. So just sip your sniveling little lip and all your skinny ass out of here! You see anything weird, you take a picture of it. It's for you, Dave. I'll take it in here. All righty. He's a brilliant psychiatrist. That's an oxymoron. He says you're a Nazi moron. <laughs> What a rush. <laughs> How do you follow a trio like that? It's not easy. You have to be the Rubmeister. The Tom Man making coffee. <laughs> the Tomster, Tomaruski. <laughs> the Tom Meister. Saturday Night Live's Rob Schneider joins ER's Ron Eldard and Justine Bateman in the outrageous new comedy, Men Behaving Badly. Boom. Hi, I'm Michelle. Oh, oh, oh. Some coffee? Thanks. Mmm, good coffee. Okay, you want to talk about babies? Let's talk about babies. Kevin, staring at a dot on a stick while you scream, please, God, don't make it pink, is not a discussion. I went to Harvard. Really? Uh, you don't know anyone there, do you? No. Yeah, Harvard. Oh, Oh, she's a bad girl. <laughs> is that your wife? That's my daughter. She is hot. Now, when you say nine to five, is that more of a target? Or... <laughs> she looks like she works out. Does she work out? Wednesday's a whole new night of must-see TV. Wings, the John Larroquette Show, News Radio, and Men Behaving Badly. Next, we canvas more must-see TV. But first, give me a minute to brush up. Be right back.
Hey, if you like television, you're going to love the celebrity lineup this week on The Rosie O'Donnell Show with House Arrest movie star Jamie Lee Curtis and from the new movie Grace of My Heart, it's Eric Stoltz and John Turturro. Plus, from Rich Man's Wife, it's Halle Berry. Then, TV junkies, stay tuned for talk show host Ricky Lake. Grace Under Fire's Brett Butler. Plus, from the hit TV show Sybil, it's Sybil Shepard. I look forward to seeing you there. Finally, something different in daytime. The Rosie O'Donnell Show. Tomorrow at 3 on NBC5. Now another NBC flashback. When we last left wings, ah! Joe and Helen burned down Brian's house. Holy flames of passion. And this fall, holy insurance claim. I'm going to get a big fat check. But wait, could it be Joe and Brian accused of arson? We're innocent, I tell you, innocent. And what's this? Is Brian sending Joe and Helen up the river? You'll get five to ten. You can do that time standing on your head. Oh, I wouldn't advise doing it that way. You'll just be inviting trouble. The answer's this fall on Wings, NBC Wednesdays. Tastes like, uh, chicken. Oh, you're back. Monday nights kick off with two great new comedies. The first features a stand-up comic, a best-selling author, and a Grammy nominee. And by the way, they're all the same cute guy. Thank you. And don't get me wrong, we're not stupid in the South, because we have words in the South they don't even have in California. See, like, my brother has a word, used to could. <laughs> Can you dance? Well, I used to could. Now Jeff's on NBC with a brand new show. Dad, are we really going to be on NBC this year? That's right, son. Is the show going to change much? Nah, it'll still be the same warm, loving family show it's always been. Where's Mom? Uh, she's being recast. <laughs> this year, you're going to have a little brother. I don't need a little brother. Well, sure you do. Dick Van Dyke only had one kid. Courtship of Eddie's father only had one kid. You're trying to squeeze me out, aren't you? Following Jeff Foxworthy is Mr. Rhodes, starring the young stand-up sensation Tom Rhodes. How many teachers do you know that look like they just got off tour with Van Halen? Well, I'll give you a minute to get used to looking at me. It's really cute. My name is Tom Rhodes, and I've got your real teacher tied up in my trunk. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at you. Hi. Hi. I'm Amanda. You're Tom Rhodes, aren't you? I want to grab your hair. I just want to grab it. <laughs> so, at home, I let my freak flag fly. <laughs> I just always take the chair facing the door. A disgruntled student comes in, you've got him in your sights. You're afraid of prep school kids? Four words for you, Tom. Lyle and Eric Menendez. I can't take this. It's too much stress. Look at me. I'm a wreck. Uh, uh, Tom, this is Nikki, our school's guidance counselor. <laughs> you always smoke like this? Just since I quit. I love seeing white suburban kids trying to pull off that whole gangster attitude. You see them at the mall. They just don't feel the vibe I'm putting out at the yogurt shop. I didn't ask for no sprinkles. Elvis has left the classroom. If it's Tuesday, it must be love. After Mad About You comes Something So Right, the first must-see TV family comedy. It's about love lost and found and lost and found again. Mel Harris and Jerry Burns star in this portrait of domestic bliss and domestic blisters. Mel just walked in on me again without even knocking. Do you have any idea how that feels? No, what's that like? <laughs> Nicole, I swear it was an accident. Well, Mom, I keep forgetting she lives here now. Me and my dad have been here two weeks. You walked in on me three times. Did you take the batteries out of my calculator again? You can have my batteries, Nicole. She's your stepsister, Will, not your girlfriend, you big sicko. Hey, uh, Will, come here. I'm not your real dad, so I'm not comfortable making up a lot of rules. But there is one rule I'm very comfortable with. You're not allowed to see my daughter naked. <laughs> yes, sir. You can call me dad. I know something that would make this feel like a real home to everybody. 
When I was a kid, every Sunday we used to get together and have a traditional family dinner. I love that, a traditional family yeah. dinner. What do you guys say? I don't think that's any good for me. I was supposed to have dinner with my dad and stepmom. Couldn't you do that another night, honey? I mean, your dad and Marianne would understand. I would have heard it's going to be dad and Marianne, but there's going to be a lot of people. Marianne's son from her first marriage is getting married for the second time. His fiance is her kids for the weekend, so they're coming. And Grandpa met this really nice black woman in rehab. So we're not the Waltons. Thanks. You're pathetic. I could beat you up so easy. Are you wearing cologne? <laughs> OK, so they're not exactly the Brady Bunch. Mad About You kicks off Tuesdays, then Something So Right, followed by America's favorite radio psychiatrist, Frazier. And then, the adventures of that adorable, intelligent cartoonist. Yes! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, last year, I was the new kid on the block, and that's not always easy. But this year, the Thursday Night Gang is welcoming a new friend. She's a young woman on the go, single and free, out to make it on her own. She and I need to talk. Jack? Susan? I want my old job back. Really? Yeah, I, I know what you're thinking. Why should I rehire a woman who left my brother standing at the altar? To have a home for <laughs> You got my little brother. You humiliated my father. You put my mother in bed under even heavier sedation than normal. <laughs> I can't give you your old job back after that. No, I... I suppose not. After that, you deserve a promotion. <laughs> look, 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 just, I, I care about you as a friend, okay? I don't want to see you get hurt. Okay, now you're coming on to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> not that time I was actually being sincere. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> So maybe we don't have much in common, but we're both women, we both work together. Can't we just go out and have a drink and get to know each other? This isn't some sort of sexual reorientation crisis, is it? God, you look sexy. Don't I? <laughs> most fascinating people you'll ever meet. When we come back, we'll have a close encounter of the dramatic kind with NBC Saturday Nights. Ooh, scary. NBC's Must See TV primetime preview will be back in a moment. You've heard about it all summer long. Well, here it is. It's day one of Access Hollywood. This is so cool. And it's right after one of Hollywood's biggest nights, the Emmy Awards. <laughs> nice timing. Plus, holy double duty, George Clooney's gearing up to shoot ER and Batman at the same time. I'm gonna have to take Arnold Schwarzenegger down. Yeah. Don't miss the super star-studded premiere of Access Hollywood. Access Hollywood, tomorrow at 6.30 on NBC5. If you're a homeowner whose checkbook balance runs out before your bills do, maybe what you need is a fresh start with Centennial Mortgage Company. By consolidating high interest debt with a refinance or home equity loan, you can actually reduce the total amount of your monthly payments. Centennial has helped thousands of homeowners and can probably help you with bill consolidation, home improvement, and other personal needs. So call Centennial today. You'll be glad you did. You don't have to be a superhero to pick up a hotline and come to someone's rescue. Hi, I'm Lyle Banks, General Manager of NBC5 Chicago. Our homework hotline volunteers are heroes to thousands of Chicago students every month. Volunteers like Ed Linker. I went to a Chicago schools and Chicago public schools all the way through, so I decided that, you know, I didn't have a lot of help, but I thought I could help some other kids. So pick up your phone and call 836-5591 to find out how you can volunteer for the NBC5 homework hotline. Why do people file bankruptcy? Over half have suffered from loss of a job or reduction in pay or unpaid medical bills. Some have just plain overborrowed. 
I'm Peter Francis Geraci, and I'm a bankruptcy attorney. If you're being crushed by unpaid medical bills, if you had to take a lower paying job, or you just plain have too much debt, you should listen to my free bankruptcy info tapes and find out how to get out of debt now. 312-332-1800. Come closer. You've just entered the shadowy zone of NBC's Saturday nights. Weird, huh? This fall, Saturday nights on NBC offer what I call a thrillogy. First comes a story about youthful idealism in the 60s and the war they didn't tell us about. America versus the aliens. America 1961. You are going to make one hell of a first lady. The sky's the limit. But all is not what it seems. Because somewhere in the dark skies, an invasion has begun. Who are you? I'm nothing but a figment of your imagination. Behind a veil of secrecy. I already know a lot more than you think I do. The lines are being drawn. I'm giving you the opportunity to serve your country in a way few people ever have. What if I say no? You can't. I want to tell you everything, but it's so damn complicated. Now uncomplicate things right now. The war has already started. You think it's the Russians? Does this look Russian to you? You don't keep the president of the United States in the dark about this. And the enemy you can no longer be trusted. <laughs> is already here. You're saying you found one of those things in an alien? And now in a human? The only question is how many more people are out there? Coming to NBC this fall. Tell me how your day went. Uh, you know, nothing special. Dark skies. Imagine if you could have the ability to be anyone you wanted to be. Assume any role, take on any identity. Michael T. Weiss is the pretender, a hero for the 90s. There are geniuses among us who can become anyone they want. They are called pretenders. This one has been with us for only 36 hours and he's already demonstrated more talent than any of our others. 20 years ago, the center exploited one young pretender for their unofficial research. I found out the real application of my simulation. Now, Jared's story can be told. 46 people died of the Ebola virus. Sorry, don't simulation 27, simulation 16, simulation 42. How many people died because of what I thought up? The center wants him alive. Preferably. Maybe we'll find him masquerading as a postal worker. He doesn't masquerade. He's a pretender. He becomes anything he wants to be. Not many doctors with your credentials come to a hospital as small as ours. It's a pleasure to be here. She's going into respiratory arrest. Try to ventilate. She's pinking out. Now that's a nice sound. He defends the weak and abused. It's gonna get better. Thinks he is some kind of vigilante, hitting even for the little guy. I promise. Jared is not a monster. <laughs> Call him what you want. Just tell me where he is. Hey, a man beating up the fire escape. You'd better board, sir. You don't want to miss the flight. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere without me. Rounding off Saturday nights is Profiler, an intense journey into the mind of an expert forensic detective. Allie Walker stars in the suspenseful new psychological thriller. I tend to think in images. I look at the forensic evidence, try to get a feel for the victims, what their lives are like. So I just sort of picture it happening. Five women are dead. We got no trace evidence, no leads, no witnesses. We need a profile on this guy. I quit three years ago. 
remember. I just want you to take a look at the last crime scene. Tell me what you think. Mama, why do you have to go? What if somebody at your school needs your help now? Would you do it? Just an hour ago, the body of another woman was discovered, making her the fifth victim of the Saturday Night Stalker. Look at what he does. Tape on the mouth, tape on the breasts. He cuts off all their hair. I mean, these are all aspects of the female sexuality, the, the source of their lure, their, their power over men. I don't care why he does it. I just want to stop him. No, no. What are you not telling me? He wanted us to find her. He may have resurfaced. She's only been dead about six hours. You don't go anywhere without telling me. My hiding out won't stop him. NBC Saturday Night Thrilogy, Dark Skies, The Pretender, and Profiler. If you thought you had to leave the house on Saturday night to live dangerously, think again. Don't go away. The gala opening is just moments away. NBC's new fall season is about to start, and that is cause for celebration. Catch all the new NBC shows beginning the week of September 16th. Are you ready? Come on, you guys. Let the fun begin. Woo, come on.